What's going on, you guys? It's be your boy Scott, and we're here for my rant on Kaya versus Bobby Light. So let's just get right on to it. So as we all know by now, well, if, as most of us already know, if you haven't known already, you know, um, Trina lost her mom, Miss Vanessa. Um, I heard about it first from Geisha. So, um... Yeah, she lost her mom, and you know, Kaya was still raining, raving, still roasting and gagging Trina, and even said stuff about her mom. So, being that Trina is his fam, is his family, Bobby Lights went on um, social media to defend Trina, and everybody was mad with Bobby Lights just because of the fact that he stood up for his cousin, talking about, well, Trina don't even claim you. Trina don't. At the end of the motherfucking day. It's not about that. It's about the fact that Kaya will really get online and start dragging this woman while she's down. Like, her mother is dead. And not only is her mother dead, Kaya was also dragging her fucking mama. So, my whole point is, how, why would y'all get mad with Bobby Lights for defending, um, the, you know, defending the honor of his family? At the end of the day, I don't know what kind of cousins you got. But if, if that was me and my mama was dead and, and the bitch was online talking about my mama, my cousins was going to step. I don't know what type of cousins y'all fucking got. So, then after all of that... We already knew that on an episode of the gag order, she was probably going to roast the fuck out of Bobby Lights. So, apparently, she did roast Bobby Lights. And I listened to her rant. And I don't know if I should replay it on my video. Because, you know, people be doing, you know, the copyrights and all of that bullshit. So, I'm not going to replay it. But this is what I got to say. Every time Kaya says something about somebody gay, she always have to throw in AIDS and HIV jokes. That shit is mad, lame, and whack. It's just whack and lame to me. And then on top of that, you got other gay guys and other people in the LGBT community that's really laughing at this shit, thinking that this shit is fucking funny. Now again... I am not the biggest advocate all the time. I never get on here and talk about LGBT issues all the time. But just listening to this shit and seeing other people laughing about it was really ridiculous to me. Like, I don't understand how y'all can sit up here and really condone this homophobic ass bitch. Like, I don't see how y'all can do that. And I've never been a fan of Kaya's. That's why I did not watch The Queen's Court like that, because she's always homophobic. She's always transphobic. She always is going for the juggler. And people always want to, you know, big up Kaya and her reading skills. And, oh, Kaya can read a bitch down. And Kaya can... Kaya don't read nobody down. Everything that Kaya says is for shock value and shock value only. She goes for the juggler for shock value. She goes for the juggler for people to say, oh my God, she's going in on him. To me, when you are a true roaster, you don't have to go beneath the belt to try to drag somebody like that. And my thing about it is, I just feel like at the end of the day, that was just fucked up. I don't see how anybody can go up for that. Like, the first thing you had to say was that he got AIDS. The first thing you got to say is that he need a penicillin shot. Is that the, the, the first thing you say is that he needs to cough drop up his, up his ass? Like, is that, like, that's basically what you think of gay people? You think that the gay people are the only ones with AIDS and HIV? Like, anytime a mother, anytime a homophobe wants to go at somebody gay, they want to use the HIV and AIDS thing as a damn joke, as a weapon of choice. No. When you're smarter than that, you don't have to do that. So, I just, I don't see how anybody can find that shit funny because it wasn't funny to me, period. Like, I ain't never found Kaya and her roasting gags to be that damn funny. But the way people are, dra like, going on and on about it on Twitter, oh, she manslaughtered his ass. She went in on him. She murdered him. It's ignorant to me, and it's just my personal opinion. What you guys think? Please leave it below, and we'll talk below. With that being said, you guys, this is my rant, and I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.